day, but dude, it's a, it's a pretty special day. What do you think? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing, guys? We are actually on the way to Atsugi. We're on the bridge now. It is a gloomy day today, but that's not gonna stop us from checking out another GTR. We found another GTR for our good friend, Arisa. She hit me up asking if I wanted to purchase her friend's GTR, and I was like, yes, I would love to purchase your friend's GTR. So we're going to check it out right now. If it checks out, it looks like I'll be buying my second GTR, but this one will strictly be for resale purposes. So this thing will be up for sale if I do end up buying it. I might drive it a bit because it does have registration for the next year and it's not legal till February 2024. So next year, about 10 months from now. But we're in the Prius. <laughs> this thing is awesome. This is my favorite car yet. We did buy this for Leah's mom, but she is still looking for parking because her parking is a bit too small. So we're just using it while we can. But we're gonna be there in about an hour 15 minutes. We've been driving for like an hour already pretty far but it's nice to get out of our area it's nice to change it up on the vlogs a little bit for you guys we're gonna go into the city we might end up hitting Atsugi up garage which is a pretty big up garage and I haven't been there in years it feels like too long yeah too long so we're gonna check that out maybe do something here in the city I'm not too sure we've been stuck at Nico's and Coda's for the past few vlogs and I've just been working on cars a lot lately other things in Japan because I know you guys would love to see it but I do need some recommendations from you guys to know what you guys want to see on the vlogs more often go ahead and uh, write down a comment we want to get out of the house more and make more Japan style vlogs I'm so burnt out from just working on cars every day even though I do love it but I want to get out more and explore the city explore what Japan has to offer kind of like when I first moved to Japan and I wasn't so distracted with all my builds I didn't even have a car when I first got here so I was just going all over the place making videos and I kind of want to go back to that because that was fun that being said I got a trunk full of OMD parts that I need to drop off to Arisa so that worked out she's gonna be an OMD driver out here in Japan she's a drifter girl so we're gonna meet up with her and um, have her say what's up to the vlog one hour be there soon Stop. I got the go-to hyaluronic acid with collagen, vitamin C, onigiri, and some mugi cha. What are you getting? Well, we're gonna go eat after this, so just get something. Okay, I'll just get, this. get something light. We're waiting for Arisa, and then we're gonna go see the GTR. But check it out. They have the habanero chicken. All right, we just pulled up, but I don't know if I can film, so I'll keep you posted. If I can film, I will film. It. We'll be back. This is cool. We need this. <laughs> the ultimate. This is what we need to be buying. <laughs> Captain's chair being brought to GTR. These are tables, you know. I think they are too. I feel like we're in an airplane. First class airplane. Oh, this is tight. We shouldn't be buying a GTR. We should be buying this. We should be buying a other phone. Getting a chauffeur there. Interesting. Here it is. Everything is pretty original. Made sure the car looks good underneath. It's got tank coils, it's got exhaust, it's got electronic adjustable damping. Thing is pretty good. Looks pretty good though. Everything is fairly original. This looks modified, but most of it is just piping. But it does have just like a little fancy wrap over all the hose and stuff that makes it like kind of pop. More carbon wrap, but everything is so clean. Car was garage kept. I mean, it looks good in the shop though. For the most part though, I think this is a cop. I might have to scoop it. 60,000 original carries has the Nisbo cluster. It is gonna be a pain getting rid of all this carbon sticker, but honestly, it's not gonna stop me. It's got the OEM seats. Could be good, boys. Definitely can use a respray though. Everything checks out. We're gonna start it up now. Kind of best. It sounds healthy. I mean, it's like 38,000 original miles, so 
I mean, it has all the legit parts, and it's something I was worried about. It has an evolved radiator. I know this thing is money. It's HKS piping. I would like to turn the whole thing back to original, but honestly, who's gonna complain, right? This thing looks really good. Probably just remove this. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. Pretty hyped on the suspension too, being that electronic adjustable dampening. That's pretty interesting. That's definitely the first. Never had a car with that, so I'm excited to drive this thing. I was so sad. <laughs> I was so sad I just had to put the camera down and walk out of the place because it sounded like it had rod knock. It could be something else, but owner said he's gonna look into it and bring it to a shop and really assess the vehicle and see what's wrong with it. But other than that, the thing checked out and I really wanted it, but I had to stop myself because Leah's car has been a nightmare and I am so familiar with that noise. Yep. That, that haunting. That little freaking knock knock. Who's yep. there? <laughs> yep. So, I don't know. We'll keep you updated on that. I'm pretty bummed. But this is why you need to always check out the cars you're buying or have someone send you pictures or videos. But thank you, Anissa, for giving us the opportunity to buy another R34 GTR. We still haven't decided yet. We might still get it for a cheaper price as is. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. We're going to eat and go explore. <laughs> Christmas time. So this one yeah. is from Martin. I'm not too sure what's in there. Let me open this. So Arisa san is going to be running OMD kit here in Japan with us. There's only a few of us now. There's like four of us oh, here in Japan. Wow. Yeah. And then we have... It should be. Oh yeah. Pink one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Cute. Yeah. Kawaii. There you go. So now you have two set, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you have that, and then those are the ends. You need your knuckles mm -hmm. and lower control arm. Mm -hmm. Show? Yeah. S13? Yeah. Okay. So this is S13 knuckle. Oh, so I gave you S13 knuckle okay, with so S13 lower. Okay. So yeah. yeah. She's the new OMD driver mm -hmm. of our small, tiny team of like five people. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually more drivers mm -hmm. now. America. Yeah. We're trying to build this here in Japan. I mean, it's honestly the best kit, hands down. You're gonna love it. So I'm excited to hear your feedback mm -hmm. on it. Anyways, let's go eat. My lunch break. What is that? Got got girls chicken miso yeah. I got tartar sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Well, I forgot to do the transition to the finished plate of food, so we'll transition to us going to up garage. I think I'm gonna make the most out of today and just hit a couple up garages since we haven't done that on the channel for a while and I'm not going home empty handed. We're gonna find gold, I promise we will. Up garage. Nice. So, what, what is that? Up garage segment. Up garage. <laughs> it's gonna say up garage. Okay. Kira, 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 kira. There you go. All right, I'm excited. We are about 10 minutes away from this one and then 30 minutes away from the big one in Machida. Machida. Yeah, we're gonna go there. So we'll see you guys at the garage. Here we are, first up garage. See anything? Yeah, this red suit for 150 bucks. Holy, oh, it's cheap. Exhaust. I really want this. Nobody find that. They don't sell them. Been trying to get one. What they got? Okay. This up garage is pretty small though. They usually don't have much. That's what's good about Japan. You can get full suspension for as cheap as $150 for some tin coils. <laughs> Trust me, if I could ship them, I would. Everything is so deals. The wheels. What do we got? Any gold? Some momos, momos, no nardies. It's all momos. Oh, we got a nardi here. How much are you? 120 bucks? Hmm, I think I might swoop. 
personal. That's pretty nice. Another nardi. Oh, this is pretty nice. A wood grain mini deep corn personal. Oh, babe, dude, right here. Look at your NOS buttons. For your NOS? Is that what it's for? <laughs> I don't know. Fast and the Furious uses it. <laughs> Nardi, this thing's pretty freaking new. Pretty cheap, too. 150 bucks. Okay. Put this thing in the EK. Let's see. You want a purple mirror? Oh, well, hey, guys. For those of you who didn't know, I film with an iPhone. <laughs> They're like, that's why it's so garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, it's convenient. You want your Odvia front end right here. Odyssey headlights. Dang, it's pretty cheap. Four fifty nine for brand new OEM S15 headlights. Are you kidding me? I think I'm gonna buy these. Yep, I'm buying these for sure. I mean, sometimes up garage can be a bit overwhelming, but like if you really take the time to go through some of this stuff, which I do, I know I make these videos and it seems like I'm here for only a short amount of time but i really tweak and go through like all the little boxes and that's when you find gold fd bumper lights like 120 bucks it's not bad more fd parts rear bumper lights well, that's all fd stuff and they have cool stuff like this look at these carbon canards for like 80 bucks real carbon it's pretty cool is it just universal babe yeah it's brand new too never been yeah, that's pretty like, sick. here's a good example of a k-van turbo look at this baby turbo <laughs> i might need this actually <laughs> look at this little baby intercooler what the that's so cool they got everything steering racks oil coolers oil cooler kit you gotta love it oh, filters dang look at this carbon filter i wish we had this back home in the states all right well we're gonna try and go through this place but if we can't find anything we got another up garage to check out so stay tuned for that we are pulling up to much of the up garage funny story about this place at this parking lot if i'm correct they had a bunch of r34 gtrs eight years ago all lined up for sale for like 30 grand each this is eight years ago mind you and I remember being here on vacation with my family and telling my dad like those things are gonna be worth a lot of money. And me and my brother were trying to pressure my dad to buy one. And he's like, oh yeah, that's cool. But yeah, he never bought one back in the day. But yeah, memories. It's been a while since I've been to this up garage. So I'm excited to go in there. It's pretty big. And I wonder if this car lot is still selling cars right outside. It's up garage tools. Oh yeah. I think that's what yeah. this is. Yeah, but they used to just have a bunch of cars for sale right there outside in the front. I'm actually going to go through my files and see if I can pull up a picture of the GTRs for sale in front of there. I have it somewhere on my Instagram, but let's get in there. Oh, they still do sell cars outside. So before, where you guys are seeing all these cars, that was all GTRs back in the day, like five of them. And they were like 3.7 mil, 3.8 mil. And back then I was like, dang, that's freaking expensive, you know? And obviously those things weren't legal for import for like another freaking, I don't know, 10, 10 years, 10 plus years, 11 years. But I was trying to get my dad to buy one, but he didn't get one. And I mean, realistically, we probably couldn't because we didn't live here or anything around vacation. But just the fact that I saw that and I saw how cheap cars were back in the day, it's pretty insane to see the prices, seeing GTRs selling for over $200,000 nowadays. I mean, what can you do? It's the market and that's what happens. Hopefully it's just a bubble and you know, everyone can afford a GTR one day. That'd be awesome. But that's what makes them so cool is because they're that much harder to get, right? And so that's my goal in life right now, just to keep buying GTRs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just wanna get as many GTRs as I can. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> <laughs> you did it have a ochi, ne? Like a finished yeah, like, line? Finish okay. That was it. The moral of the story is... I gotta buy all the GTRs. That's, <laughs> that's my only option here. Okay. So you can be the GTR So I can set the copy? market, all right? Okay. I need to be able to set this market, bring the prices Okay, more don't up. stop. Don't stop. <laughs> Anyways, we're here. Let's get inside. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Look how massive this place is. You've never been here, huh, babe? No. Yeah, this place is huge. They have up garage wheels here, main up garage, and then they have up garage tools. So, can we hit all three? Okay. Let's do that. 
So this place is huge. Okay, first, the service manuals. Whoa, Every really? That is pretty sick. Yeah, it is. They have Dodi Cam magazine. Dang, this thing is old school. Like, you know, some people's trash is another man's treasure. Yep. That's what this rack is. <sighs> so every day I fall more and more in love with Japan. You know this, is that an engine hoist? <laughs> no. Are you? A I lift? I have no idea what that is. Look at this little section over here of just motors. Hey, look, beams. This one. Beams. This one. So cheap. Freaking 300 bucks. Are you kidding me? Why don't you send that to Martin? I need to. Oh, babe, I found a new bucket seat. Thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks, chair, dude. Oh, it's brand new. Freaking 150 bucks. Full air suspension. That's so deals. All the trans, let's see. Z34 trans? Oh, well, these are automatic. These are all automatic. Mm -hmm. This looks like an SR trans. No, it's it's a junk yeah. Nissan 71C gearbox. Looks exactly like an SR trans. Some diffs here. Oh, look, 34 GTR. What is this, just the, it's not the full trans, but it's probably blown. I think we're gonna find some pretty good stuff in here. I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling. You know what you need to do? Get these Maserati brakes for my 180? I knew you were gonna. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you read my mind? <laughs> need some pistons? Got you covered. 10 bucks. <laughs> what is going on? I wonder if people actually buy this stuff. Dang, the old school DVD screen on the headrest. Just so much stuff to go through. Are you kidding me? I will take these. Okay, 15 bucks for no, S15 tails? Oh, uh, it's because they got a little bit of wall drag on them. It is? Do they look good? That's cheap, huh? Oh, LED tailwinds? Yeah, but they are cracked, so they're probably going to leak. Look at this. R34 GTR. Nismo copper mix. Twin plate. So deals. 250 bucks. So funny, I was literally looking at these things online yesterday. Z33 Brembo's. I read up somewhere that they bolt up to 180 knuckles, and I was curious to see if that's true, so I was gonna get me a set. But they usually just come as a set. I only want the fronts, but not bad. They're like 900 bucks for the full set. Ah, oh, I just want me some big brakes. Look at these. So good. Look, there you go, some OEM RB26 twin turbos for 12,000 yen, which is about 85 bucks. They're probably, oh, they're not even blown. Are you kidding me? Little turbo section here. More mini turbos. This thing is deals. ARC air box, 200 bucks probably, 180 around there. Polish it up, get a new filter, and get it new. I love these things. Look at this wall of suspension, oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna get into it. Asleep. As <laughs> I meant, okay, it's athlete, but it says asurito. Yeah, so you said asleep. <laughs> That's so funny, yes. Still looking. Check out this aisle though. Freaking gold, look at all these seats. Oh my gosh, I'm buying something that I do not need today. It's kind of expensive for a seat that's pretty used though. You guys see anything yet? Because I don't. This thing's nice though. So many seats, but nothing like worth it. Oh, this one's nice, babe. Let's put this one in your car. What? It's still good. Look at that. Ah, uh, nothing. No luck, huh? Oh, this one's pretty nice. Old school boy. And all the new seats, like 700 bucks for new. Which is honestly not that bad for a brand new seat. I just don't like these newer bridge styles though. Ah, oh, let's see. Check this out, all the pads and pillows and cushions. Mm, this is gold right here. More seats. Check out how overwhelming the seat rail section is. I mean, if you can't find what you need in this section, I can't help you. 
every seat rail ever made. Seats, come on, give me one good seat. No gold yet, boys. All right, steering wheel section. Gotta find something. Momos, D1 specs. Oh man, there's really nothing. Wow, this place was loaded with good stuff. Back then? Yep. Aww. It's just raided now. There's literally nothing. It's pretty sad. Is that wow. maybe you're the problem? I think I was the problem. <laughs> I bought so many Nardis from here, they ended up raising the price. <laughs> I'd buy like 10 at a time because they're only 50 bucks each. Lights? And lights? See any lights, babe? I'm trying to make GZS. Looking for crown parts. I'm really getting let down right now. There's really nothing, boys. I mean, luckily this place is pretty big, so mm, we can still look, but nothing yet? Seriously? Lights? Yeah, lights. It's freaking sad. Some Supra tail, just one. Yeah, that's the best one. Oh, that's the Supra tail. It's pretty sad. Checking out Snap-on. They sell you Snap-on. It's pretty cheap too. I want it all. I think I'm gonna buy something, guys. <laughs> oh, they're really trying to get me right now. They are trying to take my money. Get a Snap-on jack. Oh, it's like 300 bucks. We're just doing some price comparisons, making sure I don't get ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> this is overwhelming. We're still in Up Garage. I feel like I'm at a home center. Insane organizers, fans, vacuums, saws, toolboxes. I'm gonna spend the whole day in here. Seriously, check it out. I got me another chair, baby. This one actually is legit. Yes, it's only like 12 bucks. Wacos, sick, perfect for my garage. How sick is that? <laughs> I need another one. I don't need it. I want it. All right, Leah's ready to go upstairs. What's up here anyways? Oh, it's bikes. I got a bunch of bikes. And bicycles. And here's the riders. Let's check it out. Motorhead, medium size jet is the coupe. What? I'm just as confused as you are. <laughs> okay. But this helmet's pretty sick. But what I really want to get you is this. So you can sit on the front of my moped, wearing oh, this hat and on the front moped. of my moped on my handlebars. You will not catch me riding on a moped. <laughs> How cool is this flake though? Let's go film over there, because I don't think anyone wants to see bicycles. Found oh, gold, dude. There's a bunch of engines here. This is brand new. It's like 50 bucks. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. This is really, this is two grand. Honda 88cc. Oh my gosh, I want it. I freaking want this thing. Oh, little ANs. This is hilarious. 145cc. Oh. What is this? The oil cooler? Dang, this is too cool, guys. I have to send this to Coda. <laughs> Check it out, boys. They got me a piece mirror. Let's see what else I can find in the rider section. I don't know. There's too much. It's a whole different world. Can you show me what you wanted to show me? So this is what makes a garage special, right? I mean, a little different than typical used car parts store. Yes. They have stuff like this. They have stuff like this. Cubs, GTRs. Oh, this is cool. We should do it. Oh, it's sold out. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Damn. And they have like, I don't know, a gumball machine. How are these things? So cool. Those bikes that Coda's dad rides on the track. Pretty cheap. They're sparkly and curious, oh, yes, but you say love. No more. Let me get that. Okay. And then they have like these vending machines. Snacks. Snacks. And they also have this <laughs> whole section where you can lounge. And over there, they have a ceiling. Can I go play? <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh! Get out. Let's go. I wonder what it's set up on. Oh, there's no shifter or anything. Oh yeah, it's a paddle shift. I'm gonna send it. Let me try. All right, I just got destroyed in that game. I'm going home. <laughs> now let's go. I gotta buy a couple of things. There's one more story. The third story. What do they have yeah. up here? Body parts. Like arms and legs and stuff? <laughs> Dang, dude. No, 
I freaking love that. <laughs> arrow, arrow parts? Yeah, body parts, I guess. Uh, let's see what we can find. <laughs> Got some mopeds here, okay. Oh, there's more seats up here. Overflow, that's 15 skirts. 140 bucks or something. FD side skirts. I'm gonna go home with something, guys. All the S chassis parts. 180 fenders, like 80 bucks. S15 fender, 50 bucks. AZX 100 fender, user. FD hood. Look at me, I got my portable charger because my phone died already. <laughs> S13 side skirts for only like 20 bucks. 50 bucks for some S15 skirts. All the wings. OEM Super Wing. That's pretty cheap though. Yeah. 150 bucks for OEM Super Wing. Super cheap. Yeah. I actually need one for mine back home. And a whole FD front end here for less than a thousand bucks. Fenders, a bumper. It's 15. OEM. OEM for a bumper for like a hundred bucks? Yep. Well, they didn't have much on a third or second floor, but we still have across the street and the wheels to go to right over here. Let's go. All right, we'll give it a shot. No gold yet. Let's see. Hmm. Found some TEs. Just get them for the Prius. <laughs> So cheap, it's like 1200 bucks. Old school bolts. We got some long champs. A pair of P1s. Like 130 bucks. Bolinos. Not bad with tires. 500. More Quippo ones. Powder coated 33 GTR wheels. Look at these tiny Viennas. So tiny. Put them on the K. Oh, those are sick. K van wheels, no, four by 100. They're too deep though. What do they got over here? Some meshies, ad bands, BBS. Ooh, these are nice. Not bad. Oh, they're five by 112 though. Oh, some Meisters. Not bad. 1800 bucks, 18 by 10 half. Oh, it's 18, 10 and a half all the way around. I feel like they have a paint shop in the back and they yeah. just paint everything fresh white. I think so. OEM Alteza wheels, yeah. white. Some XD9s, OEM GTR wheels, some more P1s. Hey, these are pretty sick though. OZ Valleys. All right, that's it. Now we gotta go to up garage tools across the street. Are you over it yet, babe? Just a little bit. I'm not giving up. We're gonna find something. I hope so. Dang, babe, where you at? With your wide body sedan DTR lookalike. Look at this EF. So mint. Dang, up garage is lit right now. All the boys coming out. 22. Hey, it's Chaser over there too. All right, let's go. Across the street. Should we drive there? Um, I think we should just walk there. Yeah, let's just walk there. All right. Oh, memories been too long. Whoa. What? Is it a dealer now? Yeah, they're still selling it. Like it, four-door R33 GTR for eight mil. I'll take 8.8 mil, that's like 60,000 US. Ooh, the FD is cool. Mm. I like the It's so expensive, it's like 180 grand for this thing. <laughs> I can't see you in this thing. Maybe I just don't think they're cool because I can't afford it yet. <laughs> it's expensive. Pretty cool though, right hand drive. Love it. Oh, this is cool though. Look at this thing, it's so tiny. And look at this thing. Wow. Oh, this thing is cool though. This is how the Prius could look. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I guess um, they moved all their product into this. So whatever I showed you guys is all they had. Not really any luck today, but I had fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment of the vlog. It's probably gonna be its own vlog, to be honest. I will keep you updated on if we get the GTR and what the owner says, if he wants to fix it, whatever, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see you guys soon.